Well, hello, students at Fried Hardman. I am absolutely delighted to be here uh, at this wonderful Christian educational institution. And those are very important words, educational institution and Christian. You know, education is the great divide in this nation. And you can pretty much determine the direction of your life by how much education you have. You don't have to be a victim, regardless of the circumstances into which you were born, or your ethnicity, or any of those factors. If you have a good education, you have made yourself into an extraordinarily valuable person. And you know, the average person today lives to be about 80 years of age. The first 20 to 25 years are spent either preparing yourself or not preparing yourself. If you prepare yourself, you have 55 to 60 years to reap the benefits. If you fail to prepare, you have 55 to 60 years to suffer the consequences. Those are the things we have to think about. Even at much younger ages, uh, like kids in the Chester County School, I need to recognize that what you do today will have a huge impact on what happens to you tomorrow. And I remember as a youngster, one of the things that I used to really hate was poverty. But that was until I started reading a lot of books about people of accomplishment. And I began to understand that I actually could control the direction of my life based on the education that I got and based on the energy that I decided to put behind my dreams. And the same is true of you. The person who has the most to do with what happens to you in life is you. The other thing that is so important is that we remember our Christian heritage in this country. A lot of people try to make you believe that our founders were deists. That is, people who thought that there was a God, but that he wasn't active in our lives. Well, all you have to do is read their writings, and you can see that they were not deists. It's why in the book, America the Beautiful, my wife and I included so many quotes from the founders. You can see from those quotes that those people could not possibly be deist. And, you know, our heritage is what gives us our identity. Our identity gives us our unity and our strength. And we must never allow the secular progressives to force us to give away those things that made us into the most powerful nation the world has ever known at the very highest pinnacle that anyone has ever reached. And it's up to you and it's up to me to make sure that we pass that on to those who come behind us by encouraging our Christian heritage and getting the best education possible. Thank you.